Good morning, Internet. It's me, the certified Victor expert. I made him look like John Wick, by the way. Uh, I'm sorry if you expected to hear anything else, but uh, he is not as weak as the Internet tells you. Uh, in fact, he got more buffs than nerfs. How is this guy any more weak? Like, look at this. This thing does three less damage. It goes from 40 to 37. It's so Victor over, dudes. How will the Victor players ever recover from this? You might as well stop playing Tekken. I mean... Yeah, there are also more noteworthy nerfs, um, the most notorious one being while running 2, it's now plus 2 on block instead of 5 and the startup is much slower, so you can't just spam this thing. It is still plus 5 with EI stance, which is a new move, we will get to this later, this is pretty important. Uh, other noteworthy nerfs are back 1 plus 2, you can see it's pretty slow now, he's really sluggish. You might check out my last video. I told you this thing won't stand. Yeah, high power crush heat engager at 15 frames long range. This is, thing was insane. Uh, this is a justified nerd. But um, check this out. 3.2 from this distance still hits. This is tip range, but still, this is still huge range. Power crush, um, people might react to this ominous mist uh, around Victor and then duck, but you might as well also do this. So, something to look out for. A uh, heat up 1 plus 2. Uh, there's a huge novel on the patch note. Someone put his heart out there, just to say that this thing doesn't track as much as it used to do. Like first it doesn't, second doesn't realign, it, so on and so forth. Also justified on block, you couldn't really do anything, uh, really. Like he's in heat and this thing could kill out of nowhere. Uh, you can also just do it twice, uh, on trigger or on heat engager. One, two, used to do three, now it's just on two. Uh, still does a lot of damage by the way, like counter hit, on hit, 58, with rage I think 65, it is still a one button combo damage, so still uh, also evasive, so. Forward forward 2 doesn't have his pushback anymore, uh, it always used to be minus 16, so virtually nothing happened. Something like Hoverong's back 3 would still hit you and experienced players would still punish you for this. In my previous video I told you to utilize the pushback to bait out a stupid whiff. I mean, people like to take their uh, turns back with down forward 1, it whiffs and then you do down forward 2 and get a full launch. That's gone now, so take it as you will. Down forward 2 also is 3 frames slower on recovery, uh, on block and on whiff. Frames didn't change, but it gives your opponent more time to visualize that and hey, you done goofed and then punish you. It's minus 14, so it's pretty risky. Then every gun transition isn't as evasive as it used to be, which is weird. I didn't know this is a thing, but that's really it. That's, uh, that's the nerfs. You guys want to talk about the buffs? Because they are much more interesting, to be real honest with you. Uh, for instance, whoops, you're not supposed to block this. EI42 has this big uh, tailspin now, uh, which gives you a lot more interesting uh, combo routes. The most noteworthy one, for, in my opinion, is this setup. This is a ground spike into a guaranteed down 1 plus 2, unless they quick roll. But at that point they are in a mix up with EI down 1 plus 2 and uh, 2. Uh, ladder being a wall splatting mid safe mid. And if they use, if, you, if you get a wall splat you can close in with the gun and uh, kill him, end him. That's it. That's That was his last Tekken day. It's especially strong on the wall and not everyone is aware of this so abuse it while you can. I think this is pretty insane. Uh, with this it's uh, 95 damage I think. Yes, 95 damage. Also this um, tailspin into down bomb plus 2 doesn't hit all the time. This is one of the very specific combos where it does. It's pretty weird, I had no idea what's going on there. So uh, keep that in mind. Remember Perfumer? Like Raw Perfumer? This thing has Punch Parry properties now. Uh, Kazuya, please. Yeah, like this. 
Uh, you're still in Perfuma, so you only have your Perfuma moves uh, available at that second. But you, you know, you have a heat engager. And of course, on heat, it's a launcher. Um, no, that's not what's supposed to happen. Okay. Yes, like this. Whoa, hey, cross up. Did something interesting. Hey, find something interesting with this one. I have no idea what I could possibly do here. But this has other benefits too, like remember when I used to tell you this back one into Perfuma uh, mix-up and all? Uh, you're not supposed to do it all the time, just uh, fuck around with your opponent, make him think you are autistic and such, you know, being unexpected and unpredictable is the best thing you can do in this fighting game. Um, back one into Perfuma means you can't just jab you out of it. Also there's this sequence, you might have seen this with Farseen. Uh, wait, I'm not good at this. Yeah, stuff like that. It means they can't just jab into it. Uh, they couldn't anyway because this goes pretty low. But now in the Perfuma transition they also can jab you out of it. And jab is the fastest thing you can do in this game. So uh, they can maybe squeeze in a down forward one but uh, jab on its own any high is pretty risky here so that's a huge buff that goes under the radar really quick nobody t is talking about this so while running two into ei you think this is nothing huh you laugh at this with your friends and cyber bully it well the thing is on hit ei2 is guaranteed unless you uh, quick roll back which is Kind of reminiscent of Noctis, huh? With the spear 1 plus 2, spear into spear unless you back roll. And I miss him so much, but who cares. On counter hit, uh, you get a guaranteed forward 1 plus 2. Uh, same with EI 1 plus 2, by the way, into down 2. Just remember that. So that means on block plus 5 into EI, your opponent can just try to interrupt it. I mean on plus 5, you shouldn't uh, challenge it anyway, but... Uh, it means they can eat any of these and uh, get a lot more damage. Uh, counter EI2 also means that the ground spike I showed you with the combo uh, is even more dangerous because quick roll into a button press means they get a guaranteed forward 1 plus 2. So remember that. Quite nice. Other than that, small price. Perfumer 1 is now minus 12 instead of minus 13. That's a buff. Uh, on hit, the parry back to uh, does 5 recoverable damage on hit, can't KO. Counter hit, plus 14 into heat engager. Uh, same with back 4. Uh, Perfuma has the same move. That's nice. Um, also, EI has this teleport forward with up. I have no idea what that's about. I guess people know from this range you will approach with 1 plus 2, duck and punish, and you can throw them off with this teleport. I have no idea. Maybe it's for while running too. If you commit to the eye stance, you want to go back and do the usual combo route. Which I have no idea why you would do that because there's a much chunkier version with the eye now. Seventy-seven. The previous one with counter hit two and neutral did eighty, which is a ghost from the past. You don't have the damage with uh, while running two anymore. So, no idea. Uh, you guys enlighten me if you know anything interesting with this. So that's it. You guys want to see a wall combo just as a bonus? Uh, let's do a little bonus wall combo. Get to the wall. Uh, Farzin did it in the tournament. I could believe what I saw. I cried it was that good. Uh, he will eat everything if they stay on the ground. Uh, Saito came here to the right. You step uh, Victor to the right, by the way. It's a tag catch. So, yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, I'll, he's still strong. I'll tell you that now before other people like Main Man uh, tag along and say he's still strong. Bandai Namco, what the fuck? You didn't nerf the French? What's going on here? What were they thinking? He's still good. Please don't stop playing him. Um, less brain dead if you want to argue that. But he is still strong and a lot more interesting now. Uh, but this patch is interesting and scary in many aspects. It will stay for a while, so... Yeah. 
Also, King can wave dash now. Did you know that? 